amazing, amazing. But we finally finding out the origins of real black Christianity for the first time. Yes, sir. I S U P K. You understand? And then now you got white men coming to your house talking about they want to cut your grass. White man came to my house knocking the door. No, no, no. All right, we can cut your grass for $25 a month. Said, man, you better get the hell up out of here, man. The only one cut my grass is a Mexican. Okay, unless you got him working for you, I can't do nothing for you. It's a lot. Yeah, if I could, to get the head at the cloud so you don't phase me. I guarantee that you're gonna regret it. Remember, I said it. No, nah, you could dead it. What you saying? I can't win. No, nah, devil, nice try. So until we meet again, I ain't at the die to meet the devil. Angels fell and landed in the ghetto. The earth was given to the hands of devils. And we seen the rise of the devil. We fell for the lies of the devil. Uh. When we got high, was the devil. I looked into the eyes of the devil. And hey, let me tell you, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I can I say something on this yes, real quick, I gotta say one small. This is small. Tell me if I'm right. This is where the bulk of the slaves came in at, right? This city here, Charleston, South Carolina. This is one of the major ports. That's right. Brothers was right down at the slave market the other day. This was one of the major ports where slaves came in. How the hell you gonna not have your guard on, on white people after what they did to us? Mm. In the town and the city where the slaves are, I feel sorry for them black people for not knowing what you what you learned in the UPK. You learned in the UPK to never trust these devils, man. I don't give a damn if it's 400 years or not. They the ones that put us in chain and sold us like you sell horse meat or, 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 or pigs or any other cattle that you would sell. They sold us the same way. And why should we forget that? They don't forget nothing that is done. They still trying to bomb Iran right now for what, what uh, they did in the 70s by kidnapping the Edomites. Right or wrong. So they ain't, give, they ain't giving up on, they, on, on what has happened to them. Why should we give up on what's happened to us? One by one, they arrive at Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina, preparing for a weekly Bible study class. You even see a little girl go inside. They couldn't know that just 30 minutes later, a rampage would erupt. They hug in the parking lot. They embrace at the door. One woman shows off a poster board to another parishioner. And this is chilling. You can see a black car pulling into a parking space. It's the killer, Dylan Roof getting out of the car. He walks to the front door. He adjusts his sweatshirt. His gun is believed to be hidden underneath. This should have never happened. This should have never, ever happened because we should have been on, our people should have been on guard, should have been watching over those women and children. Uh, the church is not equipped to lead black people anymore. That's right. You need the UPK and the men of God to lead, the, to, to lead black people. That's right. That's right. The church is ill-equipped to protect and to secure black people, man. The first white man come up with a smile and a nice face. You smiling and kissing and all up in his face. Meanwhile, he come in there and kill nine people to death. And listen, and they, uh, to this day, once again, slot cut you off. But to this day, they still have not told us the full story 
of what happened inside the church. Also played in court, showing the parishioners inside the church. There's Roof, just sitting there waiting to open fire. And look at this, Roof leaving the church, the 45 caliber gun in his hand. He gets in his car and pulls away. Because I believe he raped some of those women, man, and sodomized some of those women. And they're not bringing that part of the story out. He put them women on their knees and murdered them and raped them right in front of their men and then murdered the men as well. It wasn't just no straight shooting. He was in there for hours with them guns on them. And they don't bring that part out because they don't want you to see the full story of what kind of heinous beast you dealing with. Man. That's right. And the proof positive is they put a white supremacist in the White House. So don't act like it's no isolated. There's an isolated incident now. Mm. We in an isolated incident when they put they they don't put the white supremacist in the White House. And they said they talking about what well, Donald Trump's approval is only forty percent. It's only forty percent. First of all, if it's forty percent and he's an out now white supremacist, then that's damn good. Not only that, the rest of the white people haven't even the ones that that that. that uh, got to work with black people and got to work in certain situations with black people. They not saying they voting Donald Trump, but they're going to vote him anyway. And it's going to be horrible for black people. You know why? Because the church is ill-equipped. The right. biggest problem in the black, Latino, and Native Indian community is them preachers and them religious leaders that you have, man. And this, is, this is the result, man. This is the result. You had a historical church. You had a historical church that supposedly was fighting against the white supremacy by, by coming up against the slavery and all that. So we, so we were told. So we were told until the massacre took place in here. Until everybody got shot up and killed inside here. Then we found out the real deal that you was trying to love that, that monster who been trying to kill us for 400 years. But a lottery? You had to win a lottery to get free. Wait a minute, hold it, Judge. I don't even go past that. You telling me that black people had to win a lottery to get free? You know, let's just let that settle in you for a minute. All the lottery, the billions of dollars, they got the lottery right now. We had to win the lottery. You know how what it takes to win the lottery? It's like 18 million to one. You had to win the lottery to get freedom without having the money to get free in this empire. You telling me God love all nations? You're a liar. You're a liar. You telling me the Christian church is about God and is telling the truth about God? You lying. Go ahead, Ron. Give me some more. Yes, sir. So the brother basically, he, he won the lottery and the master promised him that he could go ahead and buy his freedom. Right. So he brought his freedom, but the first thing that was on his mind was revolutionizing black people from slavery in South Carolina. Okay. This right here, this church is more than just, you know, of the Christian church we know today. They were sitting here making military moves to uprise against the people in South Carolina. Mm. It was, was so heavy because... You know, a lot of people don't know that part of history. They say it's really sitting up here concentrating on how to uprise and take over the Charleston. So let me get me right on this so then. Then. They went from black people who were in slavery, came out of slavery, was trying to stand up and protect their people, and somewhere along the line, today's Christian church brainwashed and overthrew the situation and turned it into what it became today that end up getting black people killed, incarcerated, and all their property being stolen. Is that what you're telling me? Imagine that, bro. Imagine that, General. Imagine that. And you know you can't stand for that. Imagine that. Go ahead, Doc. And then also to the add, this is amazing. And also to add, one of the reasons why it was found out that they were born in, in, in trying to believe the, revol the revolt was because they had a Jewish inside of the church. Of course. They had a brother sitting right up in there listening to everything, taking notes, and he was going to John C. Calhoun, which was the mayor at the time over the city. He probably became the head everything. of the church after that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, 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 uh, so like Ben Marcisi, a couple of other brothers who was with him who was leading the vote, they ended up getting hung. The trees where they got where they got hung at the area is still actually on um, Ashley Street, which is a couple of blocks away. Mm. So that's another place if you would like to, we could also oh, check I that to see the tree. Oh, I mean, this God. is where people actually got hung, right? right this is a, you know what I'm saying? We hear about it in the north and in other parts of the country and in the Caribbean. 
But until you come down here and walk these streets and see what it is, it's a different spirit that's down in this place, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Doc. Yes, sir. So, and another, as a result of this um, revolt that Denmark BC tried to lead, they built something called the Old Citadel. Today they call it the South Carolina State Arsenal. I think I saw it, that big silver complex. Well, they, that's the new one. Oh, that's it's the a military new one. Okay. But they got the old one, which I think is a, it's a um, embassy. It's an embassy now, so it's like a small town. But if you go there, it has a plaque up there that shows you Denmark DC. Um, it talks about Denmark DC and how they erected that citadel, that military, in order to keep more, to stop any more slave revolts from happening in Charleston, South Carolina. They raised the whole army to make sure we wouldn't stand up for what was right. So we go. Let's do it. White man is the motherfucking devil They took me out for cooler I hit him with the flame Yo, I'm a big cooler My niggas are the same Since the last time you hurt Ain't a damn thing changed Put the numbers in my brain My mentality is game Our enemies are strained From the wound like pain You can sit around and firm it I'll move like Kane I'm a cook like Kane Man, the law is the recipe I skip the scripts aggressively To manifest the destiny That stops your mind is messily From ever sitting next to me Unless he rockin' rusty Shackles cut it through his flesh And need a medical attention Cattle on your birth, neck, fill his cup with ice and grass blood I ain't done yet, just like a deaf adder that can never feel sorrow We don't double let them hollow, leave your mind all hollow Bring it back to work tomorrow, the judgment which always follows There'll be no time to coddle, that's a promise kid You think that I'm a skid? Nah, I be running right over like an overgrown Right here, this plaque here gives you all the information So but first, if I can say this it's hard, it's very difficult to find Charleston information on the internet. It's really difficult. You know what I'm saying? So I'll start with this day right here. 1822, it says, first constructed as a two story armory and fortress as a result of the Denmark BC slave uprising. That's the main point I wanted to bring out to you. It's just, it's just when you, you know, when you try to show anybody, you know, what this building is about, that's what you want to let them know because that's what it really was for. It was for the slave uprising. And if I could, yes, sir. it was amazing. It's amazing. That what he just read out is absolutely amazing. And here's why. Because our whole time in school, we are taught like the slaves never rose up. Right. Huh? They rose up so much in 1822 that they had to erect a fort mm. against us, which is how much we was, did not want to be in this slavery no more. They make it act like we was just beat down. And that was it and all, man. The Holy Spirit was trying to come in us. We just didn't have the truth. Everything we learned. After coming to Charleston out and talking with you, everything that we learned about Christianity has been a damn lie. That's true. Everything has been a lie. Like, this is heavy. Go ahead. So, that was pretty much the, the, the major point out of everything else is just under history um, okay. pertaining to the building. But that is the main part that I wanted to bring out because that is the proof that this was erected originally for the uprisings of slaves. So any slave that would try to uprise the you know, mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, sir. they won't be brought out again for the same reason. Donald Trump is already on the verge of it right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is real history right here. Yes, it was amazing. Out the water. That was yes, beautiful. Like it, sir, if I can also mention, just real quick, if I could, if you can see, um, originally, uh, you see how the design of the still, right. just like the Confederate flag, he did that, of course, on purpose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you can see it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
of course, they got the, the opposite, like the one so it's more than likely for him to have the power he had in the 1700s. He was a mason. And that probably has something to do with the whole religion of masons. They erect that old list. Now, that's not confirmed information, but it appears to be the same. Because even the statue that they have him on is a known uh, Egyptian list. Just the one without the pyramid on the top. Instead of the pyramid on the top, they put him as the capstone for that pyramid. Amazing. Amazing. We finally finding out the origins of real black Christianity for the first time. King David with his 10,000s with this 100 birds. He erected an army to kill people who were trying to get free from being in chains and in slavery. And once again, that church that we just went to look at was not a church where they were trying to love white people because otherwise, why did he have to raise an army and a whole citadel to stop them? That church was founded on black slaves that were trying to revolt and get other black slaves free. And these monsters like this is who destroyed those black people. Everything we learned about Christianity is a damn lie, man. Huh? Everything that we believe in church today is not what the churches were found in. Here we are in Charleston. This is the historical beginning of slavery, man. Right? This is where the ships came in. This is where they sold us on auction blocks. This is where the first black church, that's a historical black church. This is where the first of these churches were built at. And they were not built based on loving white people. They were built on rebelling as slaves to get free from their slave masters, so much so that the shot of the citadel that he had to build a fort. So that's what that is. If you look at those narrow windows and those towers, that's a fort. Those towers are for soldiers to stand in the top and to shoot with rifles down between the gaps. And the tight windows is so you can't get in them. And the rigid top, the, the rigid top, that's for cannons. So you can erect and push a cannon up to the to the gap and fire the cannon off. That's what they built and erected to make sure that black people didn't get out of slavery, man. And this is going back to the 1700s. So in essence, we are real Christians. We are Christians in the spirit of the Christians that actually founded these a historical black church. So we the real Christians. These Christians that are up here today are, are nothing more. They're not even Christians. What they are is following the side out. They're following the religion of white America. They're following the religion of the United States. Not the religion that God gave them in that Bible. And certainly not the religion whom their forefathers were historical uh, 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 enemies with. They ain't following that religion. So what we getting today, the reason those nine people got murdered in that church is because they did not do what their forefathers have taught in that historical black church. They took on the traitors uh, way of life. They took on the Stockholm Syndrome. And because they took it on, Dylan Root was allowed to walk in that church and murder nine people on their damn knees. He was allowed to murder nine people on their knees because they took on the religion of this monster. The, 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 the Jake that betrayed them brothers and sisters is who's up over your church today. That's who's running the church today. Who's running the church today is the same man that came back to this man and got black people slaughtered. They got black people slaughtered by the thousands. It's the same man sitting over your church today. And guess what? Guess what? He's going to get black people slaughtered again. He's going to lead them right to the, he's going to lead you right to the slaughter for his insolent spirit against what the Lord said is right and good and against the Lord's chosen people, man. You know what I mean? And, look, and here's the thing. The brother that rebelled, it ain't no statue to him. Brother, and, and, and what did the plaque say? The plaque said it was righteous rebellion. Mm -hmm. Meaning he was right to, to, to stop them from enslaving him. Meanwhile, this man made sure the slaves were kept in their quarters. Made sure the slaves obeyed their slave masters. Made sure the slaves continue to be oppressed all the way up to the 1860s to the emancipation and beyond. 
Right. Okay, hell, you might as well say till today, right. white supremacy and white supremacist groups are walking around in America every day murdering and killing black people. They only wear cop uniforms. That's now. right. So this man right here was one of the ones that helped secure that kind of murder, that kind of oppression, that kind of evil. And for us now to go to church and take on the philosophy of this man that's being taught to us in church is a heinous crime. It's a crime against humanity to be a black Christian in today's black church. It's a white crime man is the motherfucking devil. They took me up for evil. Get him with the flame. Yo, I'm a big cooler. My niggas are the same. It's the last time you hurt. Ain't a damn thing changed. Put the numbers in my brain. My mentality is game. Our enemies are strained from the wound like pain. You can sit around and firm it. I move like Kane. I'm a cook like Kane. Man, the law is the recipe. I spit the scripts aggressively to manifest the destiny. That stops your mind. It's messily. From ever sitting next to me Unless he rockin' rusty shackles Cut into his flesh and need a medical attention Cattle, iron, your birth, neck Fill his cup with ice and his blood I ain't done yet Just like a deaf adder That can never feel sorrow We don't ever let them hollow Leave your mind all hollow Bring it back to work tomorrow The judgment which always follows There'll be no time to coddle That's a promise, kid You think that I'm a skid? Nah, bitch Run him right over Like an overgrown Mexican Riding in the stroller Older than Motorola Rippin' that North Dakota Sand and rock on a boulder Hoping them I know you cry. I thought I told you we ain't holding back. Now where my soldiers at? We living off the fat of the land. Now put your foot on the neck of the white man. It's only right. Grab your sword, it's right, son of man. We through talking, now we hunting King David with his ten thousands. Look, it's a hundred bands.